Hey everyone, welcome back to another Model Warfare video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the gold medal in the gun course trial, which is the day two trial of the Games of Summer event. If you're going to find this video useful, be sure to leave a like on it, it really helps me out, and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming Model Warfare videos and the other Games of Summer event trials. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly explain the best strategy for completing this trial and getting gold in it. I'll also explain the rewards you get and give you the best tips along the way, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Thanks guys, and let's get into it. So the Games of Summer event is going to last for about the next nine days or so, and we'll have five different trials to complete there's one each day for the first five days and then we have until the rest of the event to complete them I'm gonna hopefully cover each one with a different video so make sure you stick around to my channel for that but like I say the second day is this gun course trial and we're gonna discuss that today now each trial has a bronze silver and gold medal and each medal gives a different reward and gold obviously gets you all three of the rewards and then earning a gold medal in all five trials will give the ultimate reward which is the steeplechase blueprint if you complete all five trials with a gold medal. So what is the gun course and how do you get the gold medal in it? Well, it's similar to the gun course from season three, but it's kind of in reverse where you're shooting the targets from the other side and you're starting around and going around the other way. So it takes some getting used to for sure. Now I suggest you follow my strategy in this video in terms of how I pick off the enemies, when and where they are, how many I shoot and from what angle, etc. So try and copy this strategy in the video. I'm probably going to show me earning the bronze, then the silver and then the gold medal. So I'll probably show you the three trial run throughs and then explain how I did it as best as possible. So the bronze medal you'll get by completing the gold Gun course in 1 minute 30 seconds, the silver medal you get for 1 minute and the gold is when you complete it in 40 seconds or less. Now if you get the bronze medal you get the Games of Summer spray paint, the silver medal you get the basketball buzzer vehicle horn and the gold medal the bullet race calling card. So obviously getting the gold medal will earn you all three of those rewards. It sounds difficult but I'll show and explain how to do it as best as possible. Now you need to shoot all 40 targets in under 40 seconds obviously to get the gold medal like I said and so there's several ways we can go about making sure we complete it in time. Time. The first thing is accuracy. So gaining more accuracy, i.e. shooting more targets than the number of bullets you fired, takes seconds off the time to give you a faster time at the end of the course. Conversely, shooting civilian targets adds seconds to your time. It's about five seconds per civilian. So every time you shoot a civilian, it adds five seconds onto your time. And if you shoot pretty much all the targets at least once with a few overlaps, which I'll explain how to do in just a minute, it will take about four to five seconds off your time to make it a little bit faster. So make sure you don't shoot any civilians and you need to increase your accuracy and here is how you do so. So to be as accurate as you can, I'd recommend using something like the Fennec SMG and the Striker 45. You can use whatever weapons you want, but the reason I suggest these two is because they're nice, fast, mobile SMGs, so you can move quite quickly with them, which increases your movement speed. But the useful thing about these weapons, as well as some of the other ones in this course, is that you can change the fire mode from fully automatic to single shot. So when you make the weapons a one shot, you only shoot one bullet at a time, obviously, and this means it increases the accuracy if you get your shot on target as less bullets are wasted. If you shoot a whole magazine and shoot one target, obviously you've wasted a lot of bullets and your accuracy goes right down because your accuracy is based off the number of targets you've shot per bullet. So like I say, I'd try to overlap targets to shoot multiple targets with a single bullet, and the more you do this, the more accurate you'll be and the faster your time. You need to learn the gun course as well, you know, the layout, know where all the enemies are, all the targets, and where the civilian targets are as well and obviously it's important to know which one to shoot and which one overlaps and also where to aim so you obviously you need to keep practicing and you'll greatly improve i think that's one of the biggest points to so just keep improving so accuracy and then also the speed as well and obviously the more you practice the course the faster you'll get with it and the better you'll be able to do on the course because you're familiar with where the targets are where to go that kind of thing so first of all when you start this out unless you think you're gonna be brilliant and get gold straight away i'd recommend just doing a trial run don't worry about time or anything like that you're just trying to learn where all the targets are make sure you get to the end and you can get all 40 targets if you get to the end and you've missed some you need to go back and check and i think that's a really important point so if you struggle with a particular section you need to keep going over it to practice that'd be my advice even if you mess up so let's say you mess up and the time's going up and up, you think, damn, I might as well just restart this, because if you do mess up really badly, you can just go onto the menu and click retry, and it will set you back to the start of the course again. But the problem with that is that you're not learning from your mistakes. So what you need to do, if you struggle on a particular section, is keep going over it to practice. And that way, when you do the real thing, you'll be more experienced with that section. So for example, what I'd recommend is that you also want to keep an eye on your ammo to know when to swap weapons without having to go into that auto reload animation, because this wastes valuable time, because you can't shoot the enemy, you're having to wait to reload 
and then you can either wait for it to reload or switch to your other weapon. If you go with both SMGs like I recommend, each SMG holds 25 bullets, so you have 50 bullets, which means you should have enough unless you are not as accurate, in which case you'll need to improve your accuracy. Now you need to be aware of the time, but don't focus on it completely. If you do that, it can be a distraction and it also increases the stress of the situation and you kind of often focus away from shooting targets are more about time and then for me it just makes me go all over the place so be aware of the time but don't focus on it too much just kind of have a rough idea where you are so for me I like to split the map up into sections so if there's 40 targets I normally say to myself well I should be at this point so about a quarter by this time I should be about this point by halfway so like 20 targets by about 20 25 seconds and then so on and so forth that way you know that you're on track but Keep that in the back of your mind, but don't focus on it too much. Now, when you don't do well, as I've kind of alluded to a little bit earlier, you need to actually learn from your mistakes what you're doing wrong and also learn what bits you are doing right. So if you're doing something well, keep doing it. If you're doing something badly, for example, if you're missing targets, if you're physically shooting at them and missing them, obviously you need to work on your accuracy and you can do that by playing the trial over and over again to get better with your shots with shooting the targets. But if you're literally running past targets and actually missing them and not picking them up, obviously you need to go back to that section and learn where all the targets are so you don't miss any. That takes a few goes getting used to. It did for me anyway. I missed a couple every now and then, but after a while I got used to it. If you're too slow, if you think that's the problem, if, you, if you're accurate but you're too slow, then obviously you need to keep practicing with the trial, keep playing it until you learn the layout so you can do it more and more quickly and by the end of it you'll do it automatically without thinking pretty much and that will greatly improve the time. And if the problem for example is that you're shooting civilians all the time and adding five seconds each time you shoot one to your time, obviously that greatly racks up the time, then what you'll need to do is you need to learn where the civilians are or where you're shooting them and you need to be extra vigilant to make sure you don't do so. And if you keep going over that section and practicing that bit, eventually you should learn not to do that and you'll figure out how to get out of that situation. Like I said, if you follow all these tips, keep practicing certain sections and keep going over it, you'll get your time down and down normally. For me, I started off at bronze and then I worked a little bit harder at it and I got a little bit better at it and I got to silver and then I kept polishing it, polishing it and eventually I got to gold. So if you follow this strategy, you follow the gun course in this layout that I'm showing you and follow all these tips, you should easily get to the gold medal. I know it's gonna be difficult for some people, but like I say, if you practice enough you will get it i can assure you that but anyway cheers for watching hope you found it useful if you did be sure to leave a like on the video it really helps me out and feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any upcoming model warfare videos feel free to check out all of my games of summer events all the five trials if you want to check that out and any other videos on my channel but cheers for watching and hopefully i'll see you all on the next video